I'm Sean Wells in Flathead County, where new details have emerged about a fatal avalanche in the Swan Mountain Range. Flathead Avalanche Center officials say a fatal avalanche that occurred in the Swan Mountain Range on Saturday was triggered by a snowmobiler in Wounded Buck Creek north of Wildcat Lake. The Flathead County Sheriff's Office has identified 59-year-old David Cano of Kalispell as the victim. Cano was carried and buried in the avalanche while three other members of the party were also caught and partially buried. After extricating themselves, the three other members of the party searched for Cano up the slope where they found part of his backpack visible in the debris. Despite resuscitation efforts, Cano did not survive. Flathead Avalanche Center Director Blaze Reardon says bad weather and dangerous avalanche conditions prevented law enforcement from recovering Cano's body until early Sunday morning via helicopter. Due to dangerous conditions, Reardon says his team won't be able to travel into the avalanche site to investigate the terrain until later this week. Right now, conditions are too dangerous for us to travel into that terrain and look at the site. Um, we try to usually be on site the day after, but right now that just doesn't seem like a wise move. So we're gonna wait um, and try to get in there uh, later in the week. Reardon says an avalanche warning for the Swan, Whitefish, and Flathead Mountain Ranges has been extended through Tuesday morning. He says severe Arctic cold this week only makes conditions that much more dangerous. The cold that we're dealing with right now is gonna compound any accident. It's gonna make the urgency for getting rescued um, increase. And yet, you know, the difficulty of, of surviving until organized rescue gets is, is going to be harder. Reardon says those venturing off into the backcountry should check the Flathead Avalanche Center's website daily for forecast updates. In Flathead County, Sean Wells, MTN News.